What's up, guys? I just want to do a uh, quick intro real quick. Uh, I went to uh, Weapons of Bass Construction, met with Danny Bass yesterday. I did a little video of kind of his operation, what he's got going on, and different things. And I got my Glock 21 here. Um, it is unloaded. It's been safety checked. And I got the uh, the Reaper finish done on it with a uh, candy red. And you'll see it again in the video. But um, I just want to kind of showcase different businesses is what I'm going to be working on here and a couple different projects. Um, the first one I've got is Weapons of Bass Construction. Um, and again, his name's Danny Bass. He's in Sumterville, Florida. And here's some of his uh, things that he can do. He does the gun bluing, and he does it the old uh, the old way is what he told me. Instead of doing it with a liquid called cold blue, he's doing it in a um, hot salts. And uh, he also does like chrome and nickel plating. He can do just about any color you'd like in chrome. You'll see a couple of the examples in the video. But um, parkerizing, color case hardening, he does all of that. Uh, dura coating, camouflage dipping, and also like you saw with my Reaper. Um, a Glock and he also does um, gun cleaning which we forgot to put in the video but um, he'll he'll get your gun, he'll clean it he can also do gun transfers uh, which we didn't put in there but he is an FFL licensed uh, so he can do gun sales and, and transfers but um, we had a good time last night talked for a long time and um, went over some different things real quick I've got a, a picture of that chrome helmet that he did that we were talking about in the video got this uh, huge computer here but um, I don't know if you can really see the detail but it's it's really nice uh, it's neat the way that the process is and I'm gonna be go visiting back and forth to his his stuff and to his business and, and going over the different things he has he's got a dip tank that's about five feet deep and he's gonna be doing some fairly large uh, stuff in it so we'll get to the video here in a minute, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and like, favorite, and subscribe if you like this idea of going to different businesses and promoting local businesses. Uh, I'd like to challenge you guys to go out and do the same thing, so we'll get the video started. Thanks. What's up, guys? I'm here with uh, Danny Bass from Weapons of Bass Construction. We're just going to do a kind of off the wall, a uh, little bit of a video with uh, what, some of the stuff he offers, some of the things he can do, and also a project I had him do for me on my Glock 21. Uh, we're going to go around the shop real quick, and he's going to go with, go through with uh, what he can do. So this is Danny Bass right here. Huh. And uh, we're going to go around, and he's just going to describe some of the different things he does. He does uh, hydro dipping, which I'm sure you've seen on some of the other videos on YouTube. He's got a little uh, dipping tank here. And um, he can do just about anything you want, guns, uh, car parts, anything like that. And uh, we'll just go over with what he's got real quick. This tank uh, is pretty standard. Uh, this is a small one right now. We have a large one that is uh, being put together right now. <clears throat> you, uh, most any pattern you can think of is available that you can get. You can go to TWN Industries and look up all the patterns. You can do anywhere from wood to metal to stone. Uh, it, it's all there, uh, and that's a yeah. That's a fairly fairly long process. It, you know, it could take a couple weeks to get your particular gun done, but uh, he does a really good job. And uh, we'll go through some of the different things he's done and some of the different patterns he offers here in, in a little bit. Um, he also does gun bluing. He's got a, a kiln over here. Is that right? Is that that's correct. Called? It's a kiln. Okay, and. Um, he can re re blue your gun. He can uh, what is it called? The color metal? case hardening. Color case hardening. He can do that. And um, we'll just kind of walk around the shop real quick and let him describe some of the stuff he has here. These are some samples of different uh, the dipping that he does, the hydro finish. And that's what is that next? Uh, camo? This is next generation camo. Okay. And then he's got a uh, carbon fiber here that's just on a white. And in the light, you can see the carbon fiber on that. Um, but he can do just about anything. Uh, he has a reaper pattern that I got done on my gun, and I wanted it to have a, a candy color over it instead of just being the standard uh, black and silver. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so what do you got in here? This is the uh, this is my little general store inside the barn. It's a, this is my bluing room. All right. This is uh, I have all my bluing tanks here. This is the uh, my oil for whenever I'm finished with the bluing, and then of course this is my rinse tanks over here. Uh, okay. What kind of process is that? 
this this is actually the the hot salts. Uh, it's you know you gotta be very very careful with it. Uh, you can do a lot of damage real fast. Okay. Uh, I also have this for the uh, baked on lacquer. Uh, other finishes as well whenever it needs to be heated to a certain temperatures. Uh, Does Durco need to be heated? Uh, it can be, uh, should be, doesn't have to be. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's kind of a, you know, it just depends on uh, what you're doing at that point in time, um, whether you do that or not. Okay. All right. And you also do a uh, chroming process, is that correct? That is correct. Okay. That is correct. And that's like, um, is this some of the pieces here that, that can be chromed? This is some tile pieces to where you can also get colored chrome. Oh, okay. So you can see some of the different colors uh, available. It's no longer just a standard. Standard silver, huh? Right, you can get various colors. Uh, we can make, make just about any color that you want. All right. And uh, right before we got here, I actually had a guy that dropped off a uh, motorcycle helmet that was a skull. Actually, the whole helmet had the skull face on it, and it was shaped like a like a skull. And he uh, he did that in a silver chrome for a guy, and a pretty neat little thing he did on it. it had a little bullet hole in the head there, which was pretty cool. Um, we didn't get any pictures of that, but we'll uh, we'll keep going on. So let's see what the uh, the next thing is here. It's got a paint booth, right? I uh, got a paint booth with the paint mixing bank, uh, so we can do custom colors. Uh, we with a lot of our products, people want to match to the actual color code of their car okay and I've done that for a lot of people now uh, with various parts or their guns they want it to match right right and so we get it exactly okay. to code so you've got about a hundred and 120 different colors there yes. you mix together to make That's it correct. a perfect, perfect color all right and uh, show the inside of the paint booth this here inside of the paint booth this is the actual chroming machine this is a uh, Spectre Chrome Chroming Machine. This is where all the magic happens, right there. And it's pretty much like uh, you spray it, spray it on and spray it off, right? That's correct. This is okay. a this is a vase that we did to show the colored red. And you can see all of our reflections. <laughs> That's pretty yes. cool how it comes out like that. And can you touch it, or is it still dry? You can touch it. Okay. And it's fairly. Fairly silky smooth, so it's a really nice little finish. He's got one in the uh, in the shop back there too. That's got a kind of a fade, I guess you would call it, yes. to it right? Yes. Okay. We'll check and you that can out. actually wet sand this afterwards. That you can take it to as slick as you want. Nice. You can actually wet okay. sand it out. All right. Do you clear over that or? That is cleared. Oh, it is cleared. Okay. Yeah. I thought that maybe it was just a crumb. All right. Well, let's uh, check out the other little part there, and we'll go over the gun that you did for me. All right, we're uh, we're in the little shop here. He's got uh, some are those sandblasting machines, right? Or yes. Are they bead blasters. What bead are blasters. Uh, okay. I use the aluminum oxide. Okay. And do you what do you uh, what do you use that for? What? Uh, when a when a gun comes in, typically the one that's been neglected, you'll see all the rust and pitting on it. Uh, looks kind of horrible. Then once you bead blast it, you take it down to raw metal. Okay. And then we go into the gluing process. Right. Which this is one that's been completed. Uh, it's a nice uh, diamond back uh, pistol. It was totally redone. And uh, now, um, when you're rebluing something, are you? I know they have a product on the market that's just a uh, liquid. Are you just reliquiding it, or are you are you actually putting it into a machine, heat tra uh, treating it, and what are you doing? The, the product you're speaking of is cold bluing. Cold bluing, uh, does okay. not hold up very well. It works good in, say, uh, minor scratches. Okay. Uh, the actual bluing that I do is, is in hot salts. It's a hot salt bath is what it is. And it chemically changes the outer shell of the metal into a blue, uh, the bluing that you see on it, okay. which is the protective coating that is actually part of the metal now. So it sort of opens the pores in the metals and pulls it down into there, so it's actually part of the that's, piece and that's not just correct. a liquid put onto it. That's correct. Okay, so it's done right is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, we've got the we've got the gun here. 
that uh, I had had him do. We we went through a couple different colors. This is actually a um, was this just an airsoft? It's gun, airsoft. Right? It's a little airsoft HK uh, USP lookalike, and this is the Reaper pattern that he did a, a candy color over. And we've gone through a different a uh, couple different colors here, um, and then this is the color that we ended up with. And of course, this is uh, one of their. What what do you call this? The actual plastic. It's piece? just a it's just a mold uh, that we use to practice on to try different patterns, different colors. Uh, it works real well for trying to get an idea of okay. what it's going to be like. All right, and you said they're actually using these now to mount antlers on. They actually, uh, my understanding is that that's what they do to to mount uh, uh, deer horns on uh, as part of their mold. All right. Well, and uh, actually, here's the Glock. Um, it's got a nice little candy red over. Is that, I guess, what the color would be? Yes. Is a candy red? It is actually candy red. Okay. We custom made that for that. <laughs> okay. And um, got a little bit of light over it to show the, the different skulls and whatnot. And, you know, the pattern doesn't always match up, but it looks great together because they're so uh, abstract, I guess you yes. would say. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll roll it over and do the other side. Now, of course, with any gun, you've got really tight tolerances and... Uh, with anything, you're going to get a little chips and, and scratches here, but overall, it came out awesome, and uh, I think he did a really great job. And of course, he's. Uh, do you have any other any other pieces that you might be able to show and kind of showcase? Um, what I have, uh, I do have one I'm in the process of. Okay. Right here, that shows a little bit of the color case hardening. Uh, This is a old revolver, 22. You can see the color case on the cylinder and the barrel. We did a black lacquer, baked on lacquer for the rest of it. Uh, this one's just work in progress. Right. And it's two tone because the uh, the black parts are actually aluminum. Yes, that and is you correct. Can't case harden aluminum, so we that's why we have right. a little two tone there. Okay. That's correct. All right. We, we also, also have a product that we put on the. Uh, uh, on the sights for the that shows it's a uh, night sights. Okay, it works really well. Uh, so during the daytime they they look white or clear, mm -hmm. and then at night they look green. And that's a you Duracoat know, product, correct? That is correct. Okay, that is correct. And uh, he actually did that on here. Um, the camera that I have, of course, the lights are going to be on. But this uh, the Punisher skull on the back is uh, is actually it has the what is it called the night? It's the, it's the night sight. Uh, on there, but that we put it on there as well, so you actually see the skull at night. Okay. No. And um, <laughs> because of the light on the camera, it's not going to show. But he also did the uh, the sights here on the top. Um, so if you, of course, close them over, you can see like a green color, like they glow in the dark. Um, all right. Well, I appreciate. It. Is there anything else you'd like to add to the uh, to the video? How to get in touch with you? Or? Yeah, you can uh, contact me. My phone number is three five two. 326-0700. My phone's always on, so you can call anytime. All right, and I'll make sure I post a kind of a picture of some of the stuff that you do, and I'll also post your phone number in the video for everybody. And this is Danny Bass and Danny Bass Construction, also uh, Weapons of Bass Construction. We appreciate your time, and thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Not a problem.